All right, so first page. Oh, it's blurry. Hang on. Okay, that was 62. All right, so 84 is a complex fraction. I'll rewrite it down here since that's blurry. All right, so my denominators are both x and x plus 1. Wait, so who asked for this question? Vanessa. Okay, Vanessa, did you do the numerator and the denominator separately, or did you try to multiply them all by the least common denominator? Separately. Separately. Okay, so in the numerator, I've got to make it so that the denominator is x times x minus 1. So I'd get 1 over x equals what over x times x minus, sorry, plus 1. And then I have 1 over x plus 1 equals what over x times x plus 1. So for the numerator, I have to multiply, or the first one, I have to multiply x plus 1, and I'd get x plus 1 here. That becomes x plus 1 over x times x plus 1. The minus here means this is going to be minus. What follows it would be take this. I'm missing the x this time. Multiply by x, and I get 1 times x, which is x. There's only one term, so the negative just gets that one. Obviously, if there was more than one term, I'd have to come, I'd have to distribute that negative to both. The x and the negative x cancel out, and my numerator is just 1 over x times x plus 1. Now the denominator, I have to also change it so it has that same denominator. So 1 over x becomes what over x times x plus 1? And 1 over x plus 1 becomes what over, this should not be a 1, becomes what over x times x plus 1? So for the first one, I'm missing the x plus 1. Multiply that times 1, I get x plus 1. Second one, I'm missing the x. Multiply that times 1, and I get x. So my rewrite that off here to the right, x plus 1, this time it's a plus in between, plus x over the least common denominator, which was x times x plus 1. That becomes 2x plus 1. So my denominator is 2x plus 1 over x times x plus 1. Now I keep change flip. So the numerator stays as 1 over x times x plus 1. Change division to multiplication and flip the denominator x times x plus 1 over 2x plus 1. The x is canceled, the x plus 1s cancel, and I end up with 1 over 2x plus 1. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So this would just be 1 over 7 squared, which is 1 over 49. E is there, F. The fifth root of 32 is 2. The square root of 16 is 4. That becomes 1 half. Okay, then the next page. That's funny. That one's clear, right? the writing on top it doesn't like all right um eight should have been one over two uh, one over 27 d oh there's extra here too okay so this should be a squared over b squared no b to the first this should be one over four um x to the sixth y to the negative fourth because this moves to the bottom so that if I take the negative two let me just distribute it two to the negative two x to the negative six y to the fourth okay the y to the fourth is going to stay in the top but everything else is going to move to the bottom so I'd get y to the fourth over four x to the sixth that should be the answer for that one um c I'd get two x one half y squared and then 3 to the second is 9. x, 2 times 1 fourth is 1 half. And y, negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. So then this becomes add 1 half and 1 half, and that's x to the first. 2 times 9 is 18. x to the first, y to the second times y to the negative second is going to cancel out. And you should just get 18x. 
D is there, three root five. F, first, you have choices, right? You can either flip it to get rid of the negative on the two, or you can distribute that negative two. So I'm gonna flip it so it becomes x to the negative third, y to the one half, over two x to the second y, raised to the positive two. So by flipping it, I get rid of the negative on the exponent. Then I get x to the negative six, y to the first, because one half times two is one, two squared, x to the fourth, y to the second. Now I get the x to the sixth is gonna move to the bottom, this is four. x to the sixth times x to the fourth is x to the 10th. And then one of the y's cancel y. So I end up with one over four x to the 10th y. All right, 8a, 11x minus 2, 8b, 4x squared plus 7x minus 15, d, 4x squared plus 12x plus 9, e, you have to cube this, right? So this is the x cubed plus, if I multiply that out, squared plus 2, no, nope, plus 4. x cubed plus 3x squared plus 4x squared plus 12x plus 4x plus 12. And I get x to the third plus 7x squared plus 16x plus 12. And then f is there, x to the fourth minus 9x squared. Okay, so don't worry about that next factored completely part. You guys did a lot of this already, but this is the difference of two squares. If you did do it, 2x minus 5. This would be 2x, x, um, 4, 8, yeah, 4, 3, positive, negative. This one, factor by grouping, x squared, x minus 3, negative 4, x minus 3, x plus 2x minus 2 is the 4, is the x squared minus 4, and then x minus 3. That should be C. D, take out the x, and you get the difference, or the product, I'm um, sorry, sum of perfect cubes. So it's x plus 3, x squared plus, nope, not plus, minus, minus 3x plus 9. F, take out an X, Y, and I get X squared minus 4, which is X, Y times X plus 2, X minus 2. All right, so the good practice because there's more than one step there, right? And that's what a lot of the factoring completely is going to result in, more than one factoring. Not the first ones, but the other ones. Okay, 10, C is what's here, right? So C is X, X plus 1. times x minus, oh wait, sorry, no, no, it's cut off. It's on the next page. One over x minus two. A, once you factor it, you get x plus two, x plus one over x minus two, x plus one. These cancel and I get x plus two over x minus two. b, 2x, and x, minus 1, plus 1, x plus 3, x minus 3, the x plus 3s cancel, the 2x plus 1s cancel, and I end up with x minus 1 over x minus 3. Can you go over c, please? Mm-hmm. Okay, so c, zoom this one over. C is x squared. I have to factor this so it's x plus 2, x minus 2, minus x plus 1 over x plus 2. So what you're missing from the first set of, second set, second fraction is the x minus 2. So I'm going to multiply that in the numerator and the denominator. So the numerator becomes x squared minus 2x plus x minus 2, or x squared minus x minus 2. 
So from the first numerator, I have x squared. Then it's a minus, which means everything after this is going to change signs. x plus 2, x minus 2. This negative gets distributed, and I get x squared minus x squared plus x plus 2 over x plus 2, x minus 2. And then these cancel, and I end up with x plus 2 over x plus 2, x minus 2. The x plus 2s cancel, and I end up with 1 over x minus 2. All right, um, D is there on the answer sheet. It's negative Y plus X or negative Y minus X if you didn't take out the negative. B is there, you're rationalizing the denominator. You should have gotten 5 root 2 plus 2 root 10 over 1, which is just 5 root 2 plus 2 root 10. Questions on either of those? There we go. All right, 96 minus 2 root 2. Again, rationalizing the denominator. Here. Okay. Um, we already said that it's supposed to be a plus sign. Yes. Um, but so when you simplify it, if every, because like normally you're not supposed to simplify if it's like an addition expression and then just a number or something correct so unless everything's divisible by the same number simplified by the same number correct so if that was like 42 plus 12 root 2 over 7 i would have left it alone okay yep okay thank you. you're welcome all right any other questions on the pdf review okay let's see how much of this we could do so i'm gonna let you start a quiz we'll see Oh, back to the beginning. Okay. Right? Yeah. I actually... 90... This is just a duplicate because I opened it twice. Question on 90. Mm-hmm. All the way through it. That's okay. I will... Depends on how fast you guys can work. Um, I will let it... Like, I'll open it as, like, a homework trial. Okay? But this is just, again, this is for practice. Normally, if you're sitting in front of me, I would reward you with some candy. Um, which is always good at 8.45 in the morning. Maybe when I see some of you on Wednesday, um, if you win today, I can reward you. But this, we're just going to do, again, this is for practice. Um, it's going to tell you in a moment. Wait, let me get it started. There we go. All right, so if you go to joinmyquiz.com and you type in that code 008390, you're going to want scrap paper so you can either split your screen or you can use hard copy paper, okay? But it's going to take us through some questions. So again, join my quiz 008390. Please get in there as fast as you can. We've got about 25 minutes, so let's do as much as we can together. Come on, folks, let's get in there. Joinmyquiz.com, and the join code is 008390. Five more. No. Yep. Four more. In ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, still missing three of you, five, four, still missing two, 
Still missing one. All right, we are starting without you. There we are. Edward, why are you so slow this morning? All right, so unlike Kahoot, right, the questions are in front of you. This is kind of like your pace, so you get to answer them at your pace. 